Alrighty. Well, I was gonna film yesterday before work, and then I decided I was I wasn't really feeling yesterday. Um, so I was just like, well, today's been a pretty um, busy-ish day, I guess. I went ahead and did like spot conceal, even though I decided to put it all over my face because I wanted to try something out. Um, since the spot concealer stick that I usually use has SPF in it, so I just kind of want to see how that would treat my skin after I prepped it with like moisturizer and serum, etc. Since I look pretty super pale right now, um, I still have some texture and some acne, of course, but I'm hoping it will start to minimize. I feel like it has been a little bit, but it's just a work in progress like it usually is. Um, so that's kind of one of the reasons why I wanted to try this spot concealing like all over, um, and hopefully that might help. So I'm just kind of going in with me eyebrows right now. I feel like today has just been pretty crazy and I'm already like low energy and I have to go in at work at 4.30 and then I have to close and it's a Saturday so usually about three people I think will close or either three or four people will work and then three or two people will close. So we shall see. But I'm most likely going to be using the same products that I usually do just because I don't really have a lot to choose from. But I might try out some different things though. Since it is a Saturday, usually if I'm working like yesterday, I did kind of like a light smoky eye, but with blush, stuff like that. Um, but usually on the weekends if I'm working, I like to do like pretty crazy fun looks or like more dramatic looks um so i might be doing that not too sure what colors i want to play with recently i've been wanting to do blue a lot just because i don't really touch blue um and when i did the purple eye i was like Ooh, this would be kind of cool if i did it with blue so i'm kind of thinking about doing that but I'm not sure yet. I never really know until I get started. Um, like my work colors are just like black and green and I feel like I do green a lot. Um, it's like a neon-y green so I kind of like switch that up but then I'll put greens with browns or um, sometimes I'll change it and do like uh, just purples or like pinks. I like changing things. I don't like doing like the same eye look all the time. I feel like that can get boring as hell so unless I change it like a little bit each time let's say if I did an eye look that I've done before but then I changed my like face like either contour blush etc stuff like that okay so I don't know how this is gonna look because I'm gonna be trying something kind of newish <laughs> But I'm hoping it'll look okay. Yesterday, when I did my makeup, it seemed like my foundation and mainly my foundation was like a very like thin layer. It wasn't as full as I thought it would be. And I think that's because I do, since I do like mix my foundations and like the Bare Minerals one, the Bare Minerals Bare Pro does have a finer, like a thinner consistency compared to like the CoverGirl one that I've been loving so far. Um, so, but when I mix them together, they kind of form at least somewhat of the like a perfect shade for me. I'm fair, but I'm not like super, super fair. Like I have, I at least need to be a little bit sun-kissed, even though I look quite pale like a ghost. Um, so I try to give a little bit more warmth back into my face if I'm doing like foundation stuff. Especially after doing 
the last show I was in and we had to put on a foundation that was a, at least one or two shades darker than our actual skin tone possibly even more in that more than that uh just because we're not we were we're performing we're we're performing we're going for distance so we had to kind of um go with a darker shade because we don't want to be washed out especially like with the rest of the eye looks it could look pretty crazy so you want to make sure that everything just kind of cancels each other out but still shines through I don't know, that's weird. My skin is like, looks kind of wrinkly right there. But I don't think I did anything, unless I slept on my face really weird, but I've been out and about. Ugh. I was gonna continue working on my paper for class, but then my parents were like, hey, we're gonna go look at some albums. Where you wanting to go? Um, Cause they're at my grandpa's. So, Instead of staying, which I kind of wish I would have, that way I could go ahead and work on the paper and stuff, I went with them to go look at the albums and kind of decide like what I wanted. <coughs> Goodness. Uh, because we're probably gonna have a sale soon, so I wanted to get the albums that I could get um, before they look through everything, which there's still a few albums on some shelves that I didn't get to look at but for most of them though I looked at I cleaned the I cleaned them up some of them were had a tiny bit of mold just a tiny bit um so they really needed to be uh taken care of for sure um but I'm excited though because I got a lot of older ones and then I Went ahead and grabbed a few where the album covers really spoke out to me and I maybe haven't listened to before. Even though most of them that I chose I did because uh, I couldn't take all the albums my parents wouldn't have allowed me sadly because I already have so many albums and 45s for sure already in my room. A few 78s uh, but the... Um, I think my grandpa only has, uh, LPs, so, yee, and I, and I really don't know when I'm actually going to bring them home, because I was like, ooh, it's getting close to time where I need to go home and start getting ready for work since I didn't do my paper, <laughs> so I don't know if they're going to bring those over for me or have to go back and get them, because I might have to go back and look at the other ones I didn't get a chance to look at, plus there's a record player, that was by the albums that I want to look at um, because I think it might work even though the one I currently use which is technically my dad's but I kind of like take over that one's like I think uh, early it's either 40s or 50s I think it's 50s based on the style of it it look it reminds me more of the 50s um, plus I think when I was looking up adverts for that type of brand it's like Zen um, there's Zenith or Zenith I don't remember how to say it correctly but when I was looking up like old ads just to kind of get an idea of like what that was or like when I was on eBay looking to see like what they have for those type of record players I think 50s was like the closest looking one um, and it's really old I like I love using it it does get a little bit hot here and there because of the bulbs and sometimes it'll static just a tiny bit if you keep playing continuously, so if I do listen to albums, I try to have like a max number for either the day or the night whenever I'm listening to them. That way it doesn't overheat, doesn't like ruin the speaker anymore because it is very old. Um, but I want to look at the new one, or like not only new new, but the one that my grandpa has because for one, it it is a little bit more modernized. I think it probably came out at least it's probably a newer model like two early 2000s maybe because it's a clear top I think it has three speeds still um what else about it I didn't really get a chance to look at it again it's been a long time since I like, glanced at it just because it's like underneath the table um but it plugs 
and the plug is quite newer than older plugs if you know electrical shiz uh, that's when you that's how I usually tell when things are older based on the plug and the cord besides just the device itself uh, so looking at that it does um, look newer but I kind of want to see if this sound will be different plus maybe I don't know I don't think it's a bad thing to have multiple record players that one I could see myself owning I'm very usually particular about buying newer ish things I'm very much of a person who wants to buy old things just cuz quality honestly that's just a me thing um, hmm. okay well so far my base is still kind of drying down still showing like my acne but so far the redness doesn't seem as crazy so I'm quite pleased <laughs> But yeah, so we're just doing that today. I Thankfully though, because last night I worked, didn't get home until like 12.30ish. So I was like, I'm tired, I'm exhausted, it's been a really crazy night. So I was thinking about working on my paper, but then I was so tired, I was like, nope. <laughs> I'm, I'm just gonna try going to sleep. Plus, when I got home, I forgot my house keys, so I had to call inside the house and be like, Hey, sorry, can you let me in? So I felt awful about waking up my parents, but oh well, I guess. Um, thankfully, you know, my dad opened the door really quickly and then they went back to bed. But I still had to take a shower though, because I, I always, if I do my makeup for work, I don't just like take a makeup wipe and like, do that and then wash my face, I always have to take a shower. It's just something that I do. I personally prefer it. So, yeah. Also, I can't decide then for my makeup look right now. I'm having issues. So, while I'm just looking at all my things, ooh, I have so many things that I would like to use more of, or honestly, I would love to do other people's makeup and maybe film it. Um, just because I, I like doing people, I, I like doing other people's makeup. It's a lot of fun. Huh. But also, maybe I should do hmm, the hardest thing I could think of right now figuring out what to do with my eye look. I don't usually, I usually am like, oh, I know what I'll do, I'll do this. But for some reason, I'm having a hard time. Probably because I woke up late. I had so many alarms set today and I really, I did not want to get up at all. I literally slept in until like 10, I think. And I've been trying to get up more early and get stuff done for the day. But yeah, that, that really did not happen. <laughs> My palettes, so many things, so many options. Even though I don't even know why I'm like, oh, I should go ahead and figure out my eyes when usually I do like the rest of my face since it starts to dry down and things. So I don't know. Hmm. That is very pretty. I really want to do blue, but I feel like that's going to be... Ooh, that might be a little bit too crazy for work. I could... I mean, yesterday I did kind of a smoky eye. Hmm. What could I do today? I could do green, but do it with some different stuff. Which I wouldn't mind. I do love using browns a lot. Browns are like gray browns. They're like gray, I guess, taupes, where it's like a mix of like gray purples. I like those a lot. So maybe I could do something like that. And then have the green in there because 
it is kind of fun doing green with work since that's our color and shiz. So I might do that, honestly. Cool. Coolio Julio. Well. I do wish, though, that I was not... Because of, like deciding to go over to my grandpa's and doing um like going through the records i feel i feel powerful <laughs> in the sense that i really did want to stay home and get my work done because i've been procrastinating so much just because like honestly i just didn't want to have to take classes again or a class where writing was involved like i love writing I'm so glad that writing is fun, at least for me, and enjoyable, but uh, I just wanted to take really fun classes where I can just learn and not always have to have homework, or at least assign the readings, which she does. Oh crap, that reminds me of other readings to do. Ugh, this is what happens when I procrastinate. I literally ruin my life. <laughs> I have so many things to be done because I procrastinate early, basically. Even though today I was like, okay, I'm not gonna procrastinate. I'm gonna get up even though it was late. I'm gonna get up and I'm gonna get my shit done because I don't wanna have to worry about this like for tomorrow because Sunday is usually my stress day, <laughs> my biggest day, especially because my class for the paper is on Monday, Wednesday at eight o'clock in the morning. Mind you, I live 20 minutes minutes away from campus, so I have to get up super, super early. Plus, since our class is at 8, that is exactly when the paper is due online. We have to send it in before 8 o'clock in the morning on Monday. Goodness. And the thing is, I don't, I don't really have like a lot to do. Honestly, I don't. I mean, it feels like a lot because I just don't want to do it, <laughs> but I know it has to be done. But if I could just, if I could just get it done, then I'd probably be okay. It's just the getting it done part. That's, that's mainly it. <laughs> Which I believe in myself. I've procrastinated most, probably either most or like all of my life. And every time that I do, at the very end, I get my shiz together. I get it done. I don't know how I do that. Like, I talked to my therapist about that. And she said that she has a friend or she knows someone, like her family maybe, that does the same thing. But they still end to pull it off. And it's just because of the, the adrenaline. Like, once you know, like, either you're... It's like fight or flight for me. Like, I'm in danger. I'm in crisis. All right, let's go. It's it's time to get this done or else it will be the end of the world for me. And I don't want it to be the end of the world. So I do all that I can to just try to get it done. Even if it's like half in it, I still get it done. Which honestly, I feel like I'm kind of taken with this paper just a little bit. Because it's not our... I do the quotes for the paper thing because this is like a pre-paper. It's answering questions to get ready for our actual final paper. It's not... It's not the big hoonie yet. So, I, I know what song I want to do. I want to write about Happiness is a Warm Gun by the Beatles. Because we were supposed to choose... Oh, excuse me again. Or goodness again. <laughs> Uncomfortable. Um, because we have to write about a like controversial song, basically. And I was like, okay. Uh, if I'm going to write about any group, which I thought about writing about the Sex, pi sex Pistols with God Save the Queen. But honestly, I don't really know too much about the Sex Pistols. And I know I am a Beatles freak. I wish I could be a Beatles historian just because I know a lot of things about the Beatles. A lot of things that most people either don't know or they're probably like, wow, that's probably useless. And I'm like, oh, it's helpful for some reason to me. 
So I know so much about the Beatles, might as well write something about the Beatles. And yeah, so I'm, I'm gonna write about that. And thankfully, I'm pretty sure I found five peer and five non-peer reviewed sources for that song or that has anything to talk about the song. Because, ooh, it's so hard to find stuff like that. But hopefully it works. I already annotated them basically. I just need to write my little description about them and like continue from there. But it's just, ooh, all these questions. I almost wish I could write the paper rather than just answer these questions. But then I kind of don't want to do that because I know I'm not ready because I'm just like stressing over everything else. Hmm. So yeah. <laughs> but at least, at least I know what I want to write about. Uh, slash discuss, basically. What time is it? It is three o'clock. I have so much time right now. I was stressing. I feel like every time I'm like wanting to film something, like even now, before, mainly if I'm doing makeup, just cause I like to talk, I guess. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know if it's really necessary, but talking is fun, I guess. It is fun, honestly. Okay. Hmm. And I don't really know how this look is gonna go so far. I'm just testing these waters. Which means I'm probably gonna need a smaller brush. Uh, I get sidetracked so quickly. Just because I'll be like, ooh, this one thing and this other thing. But I, ooh, okay. <laughs> me too. Uh, fuck. Let me just say yes, because I'm going into the Beach Cosmetics Aurora Lights palette. And I'm using the shade Glowing, which is a green um, baked eyeshadow. And it's just so sparkly I am and I'm like yes I do I feel like I am glowing like an alien type of glow right now hmm <laughs> yes <laughs> see right there sidetrack but honestly though I like this this helps me <laughs> Or at least I feel like it does anyway, especially because of my whole note edit thing, which I think I was going to talk about yesterday, yesterday, or I don't remember if I have, if I have already talked about it or not, which, oh yeah, because yesterday I was going to talk about trying out new camera angles and stuff because there's this one mirror that I got from my dad, I believe, if not my dad, then my grandma, that apparently was my other grandma, or like my great grandma, um, or my great aunt. I don't remember, but I never got to meet her because she passed away before I was born, sadly. Um, but I wish I could have met, met her though, because I have quite a bit of her things, kinda. <laughs> I have some old doily things of hers. I have a footstool, the mirror, I believe. Ooh, I will. I'm pretty sure the mirror was hers. But I, I've been wanting to film in that mirror or do a really cool like photo shoot idea thing um, just for fun or doing a video. I have so many ideas for things. I just never, I'm always, <laughs> like telling myself, oh no, why why should you do that? So it's a fear thing, and I'm I'm really wanting to expand on my ideas now, not be afraid, not even just like film and camera ideas like for photography, but also my art. I have so many different art ideas that I haven't like I've written them down. I just haven't um, I haven't just like jumped in and gone for it. And I really want to. I think part of it is because I need more supplies. Not that that's not attainable. It is. It's just I need to do it and I just haven't. So there's that. But I don't know. I just, this has helped me in a way because 
I feel like I can be real, be real and be me and that's cool. Cause like so many things, like I'll see it and I'm like, man, I wonder how that is if I feel really like this. And so I don't want to do the note or I don't want to do the edit thing. I would like to try it maybe with maybe like one video or so where I just go complete edit and do a whole bunch of cool things. But for the most part, I like just having this raw, unedited environment where you can actually see a person be a person. <laughs> uh, it's, it can be awkward in a way, but for me, I find comfort and like, I'm just like, oh, that's so cool. Like, I dig it. I dig it a lot. So something I just want to expand on more, especially when it comes to like singing. I want to sing more and I think I'd rather do it where it's very unedited. Let's say I decided to, let's say I happened, not only decided, but let's say I happened to like mess up. It was an accident, it just happened. And then like people could, it's like live basically, but not live. And I think that's cool. <laughs> Lol. So yeah, I don't know. Although I'm currently using my um, phone to like record things. Just cause if I were to use my camera, like how I'm recording right now, most likely be impossible. Cause I've tried before. I mean, it maybe wouldn't be too impossible. It would just be um, very challenging, which isn't a bad thing. But sometimes certain types of formats or works can hinder other things. So it's just trial and error. That's why I kind of want to see if I can record it maybe in a different area, even though I've always wanted it to be. Kind of like this, like in the face, basically. And I feel like, which people do, people do film in this style. But for one, I don't know, it's just, I'm, people are different. I know I'm definitely different than most people. Obviously, since I'm trying to do different style things. Um, with film but also I know if I actually were to do like my own film projects like with scripts or etc which I'm so excited to help my friend with then I'm gonna probably think about different angles or different frames stuff like that but that's cool like people people you know do what you want do what you want like Obviously, it's your life, etc. I'm just trying to be, I'm just trying to really showcase who I am and what I want, how I be. <laughs> That's mainly it for me. <laughs> and it's interesting because a long while ago, I was like, I kind of want to do more things with YouTube because I had done Lego video things when I was a young person because I loved watching other people's Lego videos and I was so inspired to create my own because I loved creating and telling stories and my whole Lego city had its own story and I wanted to do that and I just so I tried it and I realized that it's a lot of work and as a young person who was still getting into life and doing extracurriculars it wasn't very feasible for me anymore was a lot harder than I thought it would be and so I kind of just like stopped doing that and for a while I was like I really want to do makeup I want to do makeup videos it looks like so much fun I see I get inspired by other uh, like like youtuber makeup guru people and I'm like oh dude that's so cool like they inspired me to really kind of play into makeup also because I was at they mainly in middle school or early high school and I had so much more acne than I do now. I, I felt super awful. I got bullied like all the time. So 
that kind of really drew me into makeup and figuring out how to use it. And from there, like I would watch videos to watch them, but when I did my own makeup, I wouldn't really follow what other people did. I just did whatever I wanted because that's just how I usually am. I always just do whatever I want. And my parents know that I do whatever I want. <laughs> like it's just, cause, I'm, cause we're different. Like I shouldn't have to do that or I just do what I feel, etc. And like now I'm just, I've been really wanting to do this, especially since taking, like doing therapy videos as I thought that would help me also see how my therapy things are going. And why not do things I've always wanted to do? Why am I holding myself back? Why am I stopping myself? Why, why, why? When there's no reason to, there's no reason to like tell yourself no if it's what you want to do, especially when I want to do whatever I want all the time. So it's just a lot of back and forth. But then finally, it's like you figure out, I think, who you are from that when you actually go for things and decide to be like I'm doing this and no one is gonna stop me because <laughs> I do not care what you think because no you know it's like you do you honey boo boo <laughs> I have no idea how I got on this tangent but I did and it's okay <laughs> sometimes things just need to be talked about and I feel like a lot of things aren't talked about. Like, uh, honestly, I went to Dylan's yesterday with my mother so I could like pick out some food that I wanted, um, and some other things as well. And when we went to go check out, I was just kind of like looking at the magazines. I don't really read magazines. It's not a big thing for me. Um, never completely has been, unless I'm in a waiting office because they're there. But usually I'm on my phone because social anxiety. And I don't want to have to get up, I guess, to, to get a magazine, I guess. And I was looking at the magazines. And I'm like, of course, the headline is something with drama. Like... Most of them, at least, that I saw. I don't think I really saw one. I don't know what the time one was. I don't remember. Because I think the reason why I probably don't remember is because most of the other headlines were very drama-central type issues. And I'm like, why are people focusing on all these different things like don't get me wrong sometimes on youtube and i see like tea spill i think that's one of them or like something or like here for the tea or like those channels get so many views and etc probably like those magazines because they're like what no way but it's like it's it's so interesting because it's a, usually about other people's lives that we don't really have any contact with except for like um press or at least they try to but then you realize that they more so invade people's personal private life than anything and they make money off of that and like most of the celebrities don't want to be bothered with they want to be people you know and live their lives and they especially like actors like me thinking about doing film or even like stage obviously but mainly film if you become like a big name celebrity in film, you're practically most likely gonna be stalked by paparazzi. They wanna know all your secrets. It's, I don't know about that. Like, would it be cool to be a celebrity? I don't know, would it? Because privacy invasion, I'm very much Unless you're close to me and I know who you are, or I feel some type of connection to you. At least for the most part. Obviously, I'm speaking my truths and shiz and all these things right now. Because, why not? Um, but like, certain personal, you know, things. Like, I don't know if I'd want people to like, hound me for it. I don't want to be forced to speak. 
Like, if people want to be chill and have civil conversations, like actual conversations and not debates, yelling, all these things, then maybe I would be like, oh yeah, I'll tell you all about this stuff. I'll be honest with you. But if I feel uncomfortable and feel like I can't live my own life, then people are most likely not going to find out anything. So I'm very curious because it feels like most celebrities do want to live a normal-ish life. Yeah, some people probably enjoy the clout. Like, because it... I mean, I would probably enjoy it just for fun, for the meme, because memeing is life. Meme, <laughs> I live for the meme. <laughs> but overall, do I really want to be hounded? No, not, not, not really. So I guess it just depends on who you are, which is perfectly normal, perfectly fine, nothing to go crazy about, etc. It is, it is interesting though. It is quite fascinating. Just cause like you never really know how it be sometimes. But yeah, I, I kind of wish, sometimes I wish it were easy in a way, maybe not easy. Well, no, because that would be kind of crazy. I'm trying to word this in a better, understandable way. Because, I, in a way, I do wish it was easy to communicate with celebrities or like high-end people and not be, and not be, what's the word? Because obviously, like, people who are high up there, you know, they are very particular about who they talk to because it's like you can't, you can't trust nobody. Honestly, oh, frick frack. I did not realize I was super green. Ooh, okay. Well, we're just gonna fix that in a second. Um, but yes, they are very, they seem, in my, this is just a theory, I'm not stating facts, I don't really know, this is just based on observation and what I kind of think about things. I wish I knew the tea, I wish I knew how it really be, <laughs> but so far it kind of seems that people really have their tight-knit groups because no one, you can't really trust anybody, you don't know if people are going to be great to you one day and then fake the next because obviously... There be a lot of fake people who want to get stuff from high-end people. A lot of drama with that, especially, probably, most likely on YouTube. Or trying to like get up and like make a name for yourself on here if you if you want to do that. Uh, but with the, it's just very tight. So you can't trust nobody. So who do you trust? Do you trust anyone? Is it okay to trust? Where do you go? Who do you talk to? Do you have a life? So many questions, which obviously, to me, if I were to make it in Hollywood with film, I would most likely try to become close with people who are in the cast, as I do with theater, or I try to become very close with those in theater, or who I've done shows with, either now. I have so many theater friends from the, like, from past shows. Um, so I'm very curious how that would go with an actual film. Like, do those people still keep in contact? Is that a safe way for people to make friends when you're, you know, up there, up there? Does anybody who is already up there try to make friends who are of, of lower stature, basically? Because everybody has status when you're, you know, talked about in the news. I mean, it's... That's an obvious thing. So... Does anybody ever try to make friends with, like, the common people? You know, us. I say us because I feel like I'm just a common person. I don't feel like I have any stature whatsoever. Yes, I may know a lot of people. I don't know if I'm... I mean, I'm somewhat, somewhat popular in my theater stuff, but not really. I just kind of go, and if I know people, I know people. So maybe I'm not. You know, it's just what it is. So does that mean that people 
are wary of the common people because they think that since they are maybe at a lower level, they use them? Or is it that they just don't, they don't want it? Or do they? Because maybe sometimes when people want real lives, they end up surrounding themselves with all these people who are already up, up, so then they feel like they can't be real or they feel like they can't live. So maybe it's time that changes and people just want to be friends with whomever is like welcoming and nice to them and stuff. There's so many routes that people could take and it's really just a matter of personality and what you want. But I'm curious about that. I'm very actually kind of curious and I wish I had that. I wish I could just be like message a celebrity and they would actually respond and I, and I could get the answers that I would love to get. But maybe they do respond and I'm just not trying because my brain, I feel like they're not gonna care because obviously they have a busy life or maybe they're taking a break and they just don't want nobody. There's so many factors, so many factors and I just don't know, I don't know what the D is. I don't really know what's up. So maybe that's a me thing. It's not even them, it's us or them. So, oh man, so many things to talk about. And I just went on like so many different like tangents and stuff. <laughs> Today's been a pretty good day-ish besides, you know, the procrastinating and everything. But I don't know, I feel like riled up, but like in a good way. Cause like yesterday when I was deciding to film, I started filming and I was just so low energy and I was like, Ugh, I don't know if I, <laughs> am I in the mood to film? Like, cause I'm not gonna just force myself to do something if I'm not really wanting to do it or like ready slash willing to do it. So I was just like, you know what? Maybe tomorrow I'll be ready. And I feel great. I feel like ready like to film and I think maybe you know not doing the paper was kind of helpful because I didn't do it yet even though I'm gonna have to which maybe tonight I will maybe tonight I will actually start not really start continue <laughs> maybe I'll continue it tonight but I don't know I've been really energized to film because I wasn't in the mood yesterday so maybe it was just like getting in the mood of like wanting to actually do something. And maybe also though, I like the reason, another possible reason was because um, yesterday, hang on, there we go. Yesterday I felt so pressed for time before work. I was literally practically like a little bit late for work. And I was just worrying about taking too long to get ready talking too much like I probably am now, but it's, like I said, it's helping me. It's relaxing to me. I feel like I have a voice. <laughs> and I was just like, ugh, I don't wanna take too long because I'm gonna be super behind and then I'm gonna be super late and I don't wanna get yelled at. And I wouldn't have gotten yelled at. I, I wasn't yelled at, I even called them. I was like, yo, be like a little bit five, ten minutes late, that's it. So I still made pretty good time. And I still do my job. Like I'm a hard hard worker, so I'm gonna when I get there I'm gonna start working, which I did. So I was just worried. So today though, it's going pretty good ish so far. And I think I still have enough time. It's three twenty three. So yeah I and I'm almost done with my makeup too, so that's pretty impressive. Oh yeah, my phone doing its things. And so if I wanna get there by 4.30, that's the thing. Ugh. I keep going to jobs that, which necessarily isn't a bad thing. But for me personally, I don't really wanna have to drive to a job that seems 
far to me since my school is already like 20-ish minutes away. So I work, I think my job is at least 25 to 30 minutes away. <sighs> and that's why I have to leave at a specific time in order to clock in at the appropriate time before I begin working. And then, you know, obviously when other coworkers come in, I think I'm usually like one of the first, if not second, people who shows up. And it, like, I like my job. All of the people who I work with, honestly, I really do. And we, we've been getting new people, so that's, in my opinion, been super great. <sighs> Kinda glad that some people are gone. But most of the people, that are gone, were gone like a long, long time ago, I think. Well, we had a newbie, but I just want to vibe with people who are just as hard workers, for sure. It Before, at some jobs, it just sucks being one of the few. And so I make sure that's kind of like, yeah, if you're gonna help me close or open, or I might need some support go and need some help. So I love working with hard workers, um, people who have a sense of humor, people who are just really chill to talk to. Not too much drama. Obviously there always will be drama, usually in the workplace because of how work goes sometimes. But really though, I, ooh, this that's why it's hard because as much as I love working at my job, I just need a little bit more monies in order to feel like I can support myself, pay for my own bills, and be able to move out one day. And I am thankful that I still live with my parents and they're not gonna like kick me out. But sometimes I just, I can't take it. I can't take living in this house anymore. I've been here all my life. Never moved, never even moved out for a second. And I just really want to start kind of getting that process going or at least in, underway. That way I'll be ready to like, whoops, that was a cup. Or at least be ready to move out like after college. That's like one of my goals. I don't know if it's actually gonna happen, depending of course. But I would love to move out of state because of jobs for theater slash film. I really do kind of want to make a name for that or at least go for it. Maybe do extra work or commercial work. Um, so my drive is there. It's just about financially <laughs> getting there. So that's just... One of my main little issues and stuff. But it it's not like it's not attainable though. Like everything that I want to do is attainable. And as my therapist helps me say it's doable. I just have to remember that. That's like one of that's been one of my slight mantras right now is like asking myself, is it doable? Or not like asking, but it's doable. Just saying it's doable. Uh, but I do ask myself that too, just cause I wanna make sure like, I'm not just blowing smoke, which it's not though, because I feel like since therapy, I've been taking a more positive drive with myself, positive, drive with myself and really kind of seeing in a way how far I can go uh, really realizing like what I want if it's manageable if it's doable in time constraints stuff like that and I just I just gotta believe that it is and it will be 
you could think it. I think things will work out. Um, sometimes I just, I do second guess myself quite a bit. Especially, oh my goodness. I feel like I have indigestion or something. I don't know. Um, especially if it's something that I'm very anxious about slash nervous or things I've never done before, I'm very like, huh, I don't know if I can do that, even though I want to, like now. So I'm just gonna keep trying. Obviously my life is not over yet. I still have a lot to do and things I want to obtain or at least go for and without fearing that like fearing those things or feeling like I don't have power over situations or not only situations but like power of myself in situations like maybe I feel like I can't do something when I can, I just gotta believe. Just gotta believe. And then all shall be well. <laughs> At least that's the end goal. Everything should be okay. I just realized I have not set my face yet, but my face has been like setting itself. Hmm. I'm still gonna set it though. <laughs> just like lightly. Also, what do I do? Oh yeah, I did use that. I do kind of, see, this is why I like to do like my highlight after I set my face, cause then the highlight will be hella fucking strong, but I did put quite a bit of that green on there and I wasn't really ready for that especially because my eye green is a lot darker and that highlight though ooh, is like super like light green so I'm okay with it kind of being diminished plus I'm debating on going over with a um, different highlight like I did already I went in with the highlight that I used yesterday which I, when I first got it, it seemed quite, um, it seemed a lot more, uh, what's the word? Pigmented, there we go. A lot more pigmented and shiny, etc. And then obviously I've used it quite a bit. I think it's a, oh yeah, because it's a Physicians Formula one. Because I think maybe they try to go a little bit more, like, minimalistic. I'm not, see that even still looks quite shiny but it doesn't look as green anymore so i might just go in with this other highlight man i put it like right on like this one tiny pimple though and now it's just like you see me i'm like yeah i see you i see you right there but it's gucci I'm just kind of glad that my redness isn't as crazy right now. And if it's, and if it's there, it's there. It's fine. I do need to do something with my hair though. Think before I'm done. Which I'm practically done now, I'd say. I really like how this turned out. Ooh, yes. And then I'm like, I'm not even looking at my highlight. I literally love just looking at my eyeshadow. Ugh. So much fun, so much fun. I think this is another reason why I wanna try a different camera angle or at least try filming um, maybe in a different location in my house because I really wanna see like the natural light and how that would affect like the look. Cause right now for one, I'm missing two light bulbs. Like I need to replace them. I just haven't yet cause I'm awful. <laughs> but I mean, I'll get to it and those are it's a mix of bulbs. But it's 
imagine it'll, it'll happen at some point and then it'll be like super bright in here which i heard oh god i'm dying oh, goodness which i heard that's not very good to do your makeup or like film in like a place where lights are all like weird but this hasn't hurt me so far because i think it looks okay but I, I understand why people say what they say. But yeah, very happy with this look. Very, very digging it. So I think I'm just gonna like fix my hair and then go to work at some point soon. So yeah.